Hello tennis nerds, you know this guy, Andre Meinertz, he's back from uh, Denmark playing some matches and he has a new racket with him uh, instead of the Beer Aero VS you play with, right? Yeah, so now I switch to the Gravity, the MP. I was super happy as you, if you saw the video we made before. Yeah, yeah check that one out, yeah. yeah. So I was talking about the MP, it was my favorite out of the, the different ones that was to choose. Uh, and as I told in that video, I put some weight on it to make it custom for myself because I feel the head was a little bit too light. So I put a little bit weight in the head and also a little bit in the bot in the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah with uh, silicone, right? Yeah, yeah in silicone. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it, I get my balance right. So now I'm very happy with the racket and uh, hopefully it's gonna win me some matches now. Yeah, yeah, and you <laughs> use uh, Link Store still, right? It's yeah, a good combination. I I actually, I went one, ki one kilo up in this one. So I went to 24 instead of 23. Uh, and I feel it to give me a more compact feeling and more control because the head size is 100 and I went from 98. Yeah, makes so, sense. Uh, and the string pattern is, is 1620 on both, yeah. but obviously a little bit different drill yeah. pattern. And you're trying now to find the, the customization for yeah. it, because you have a exactly. couple of these, right? Yeah, so I, now I, I found two of the ragged is, is, is getting there and uh, I have to play a little bit with the ragged and see how it turns out. It's a, it's a big hobby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it takes a, takes time yeah. because once you have the racket and the string, you still have to figure out like, yeah. okay, the swing weight, where do you want the weight placed? Do you want a more heavy static weight? So then it becomes uh, more of a experimentation phase. And then at yeah. some point you have to let go because it's easy to keep doing this forever. And like, yeah. oh, I want more weight, I want yeah. less weight. I want but uh, yeah, they, these look great, great together yeah. and uh, will be fun to some balls. You also yeah. have some new clothes, a yeah. sponsor. Yeah, Adelaide Collective, uh, Danish brand just uh, started, super good. Uh, it's uh, it's very light materials, so when when you play around, you don't feel like you your clothes is making you heavy for sure. So the shorts I am very big fan of is is very light and it feels like it almost doesn't have nothing on. So it's super cool. Go check it out. Well, what's is this is the old school stencil with the ball here, right? No, this is actually a, 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 my own. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you add a ball to it, yeah. Because yeah. it, it, usually it's here, no? Yeah. This is on the side. Yeah, yeah but I, it's because when I was a kid, I always painted with, when I was in school, I had my raggeds. Yeah. And then I draw with a, a stick yeah, uh, yeah. or a pencil because I was bored. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just keep doing it. Yeah, it's good. It's yeah. good for good for luck. Yeah. All right, thanks, Andre. Let's hit some balls. Yes, let's go. When I hit with Andre during this day, he had not customized it fully, but, you know, he got the specs up pretty uh, close to what he played with here and uh, they're not monstrous. It's something I could use 3 to 8 swing weight strong is something I really like and the Gravity MP has a really wide audience. You can play it from pretty advanced if you customize it a bit maybe uh, but it's also stable enough to be played in stock form uh, at least on the intermediate level and it's relatively easy to swing. Low stiffness ratings are pretty comfortable on the arm. It's a racket I easily recommend to many types of players. It, it has a you know good spin potential for the kind of racket it is and uh, good power on serve. So it, it's a very good racket. I feel like it's a bit too wild for me with the 1620, 100 square inch head size. Uh, I still feel most at home with the 98s and I use the Radical Oxetic MP these days. Andre tried my racket, he did not like it as much, could have been the string setup, uh, he could play with it decently and he also tried the Head Extreme Tour Oxetic but he didn't like that one as much either. I put the Lynx Tour in the crosses and the Head Hawk Touch in the mains and he wants a full bed of Lynx Tour. Sometimes you are very specific with your string preference and, and Andre is one of those guys that wants that sensation from the Lynx Tour. And uh, I did feel like maybe his uh, shots were a little bit faster with um, the Pure Air VS. He got a bit more power, uh, but I think he likes the dependability. He used to be a head player. He played with the Prestige before. That was even more low powered. And from the current lineup, I think this is what he liked the best with the low stiffness rating. A good mix of, of a pretty whippy feel. He likes to really use the wrist in his shots. And as you can see, his serve is, is a big weapon. And that's what he uses a lot when he plays. Competitively, he has played a bunch of futures, obviously, and uh, and he plays league matches in Germany and other countries. And he's the hitting partner in certain tournaments and here in Marbella when he's around, like for Chapo and, and other players. So um, he's definitely a high-level player. And uh, we'll see if he can use this this switch now and, and compete a bit more. And uh, 
we'll, we'll, I'll follow him around and we'll see how he does in upcoming events and so on. But as you know, the life on the Futures Tour and the lower levels of the Tennis Tour, it's, it's not easy. Here he's playing with Nicky, who helped him customize and match his rackets. And uh, they had a really some good rallies and they played for a bit. Nicky was warming up because he's also playing some German League matches this weekend, as I'm talking to you. Uh, which is pretty common, like a lot of the more advanced players, the, the high-level players, ex-pros, current pros, on a lower level they play a lot of these league matches. Obviously high-level players also play them, but in Germany and on the bigger leagues they actually pay also for slightly lower level advanced level players. So um, that's a great way to go out and play more matches and be part of a club and so on. Sadly in Marbella, for example, in Spain where we're hit playing here in the Loja Tennis Club, the there's not a lot of, of team tennis in, in this part of Spain, from what I noticed. And that's uh, that's a shame, because it's a fun element of tennis that you play uh, together in a team. And you play for maybe something bigger than just your own your own game and your own match. So they had a good session. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you up to date with Andre's uh, progress and results in the future. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.